Schön. Ja. ja. Very nice. So Jamie Hansen. Thank you very much, everyone. Great to be here. Um, I've been here well three times now. The, the community here is epic. Uh, Ethereum London was the very first Ethereum meetup on the planet. And so I know a good community when I see one. Um, take a look on screen. We made it. We made a towel that made a perfume. A perfume that was so good, Harvey Nicks decided to sell it. You don't really hear of dowels actually working. <laughs> um, so this all started off when we were selling this NFT on KO. We were selling it for 0.3 ETH. Uh, very beautiful. Um, and about 30 odd people bought it over six weeks-ish. And that gave everyone access to a Telegram group where we got to talk about what we thought the center of the metaverse would be like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you're new and you're like, what the hell's a DAO? Just think of it like an old school cooperative. Community first, uh, flat hierarchy. But community. If you were here two, three, four years ago, everyone's talking about community. Community, what took pictures of apes from like a hundred pounds to a hundred thousand pounds and celebrities are buying them left, right and center and talking about them all the time. But in the last two years, crickets. What happened? The dream, we build together, we shield together, we get rich together. Woohoo! <laughs> the reality, So um, entrepreneurs, we call them entrepreneurs, um, scammers, saw people coming into the space, chasing free money. And so those people got eaten up. And that's where we are. Except there are the odd DAO that do succeed. Sudden to the metaverse is one, as you saw. So where we won and others lost is we didn't sell, we're gonna get rich. We understood that there's joy in just a building. The average person doesn't get to build something from an idea to a final product. Like to actually do that is mind boggling and brilliant to people. And that's what we sold. And this is a little tour of our mirror board. You see, we got a great digital designer and you can see you know, the, the comments that's going on. Um, so our community had 30 odd people. Uh, they ranged from the US all the way across to Indonesia. We thought we were gonna have to do like the same conversations three times in three different time zones. And it actually turned out that we only needed to do one in the end, and one for each conversation, because the people in Indonesia and Vietnam, they were super happy to wake up at two o'clock in the morning <laughs> and join our conversations with the rest of the world just for the joy of it, it was great. And in the end, these, this is what we got. So each member of the DAO got a plain label and a label with the burnt rose on it. It's what packaging looks like. On the right, we've got the, um, the, the box that comes in and on the left, that's a silver sleeve. Uh, I've got packaging here if you wanna, and the perfume as well, if you wanna have a look. But what does it smell like? Well, the incense, that represents uh, the cult of crypto. <laughs> the, the rose, well, that's the sweetness that holds everything together. The warm circuitry and white smoke, I call that burnt electronics. <laughs> I mean, the fact that we've got smells for this is mind blowing. It's, it is a unique, very unique perfume. You don't smell anything like it. And how we did it, it's pretty simple. We had a simple attainable goal to make a perfume with the NFT community to try and work out what the metaverse would smell like. We had a founding team of a perfumer, Rook Perfumes, 
marketeer, artist, techie. There wasn't much tech to it, so I guess a bit more strategist. Um, then we sold the NFTs you saw, and then we set up a Telegram group using Colab Land. Um, if you're looking to do something like this for yourself, setting up Colab Land on Telegram is super easy. It's like four steps. If you fuck up, you can just redo it again. It's fine. It's super simple. And um, we worked again with, on Miro, and we delivered, even when it cost an arm and a leg to pay import taxes to Indonesia. Um, we had a secret source. So we sold the NFT for 0.3 ETH, which at the time was $350 to $500, depending on when he bought it. And a few of you probably know a perfumery in Manchester that can do the same thing in an afternoon for about 100 quid. So what can we, what added value can we give? Well, we decided to give co-creator rights because that just makes sense. If you help make it, you should have the rights. So this is how we did it. So Rook Perfumes. Um, so we came up, the DAO came up with the vision for the perfume, what it would smell like. Rook implemented it, so they came up with the recipe. So they have the kind of the recipe design ownership and all the, the perfume has been properly certified. So it's safe for humans and everything. Um, so they have certificate responsibility and that comes with legal rights attached to their company because our DAO doesn't have a company. Um, so yeah, they got legal rights. And then, then the ownership rights essentially get split 51-49. So we had to sell that to the potential buyers. We had a website. This is what was on the website about it. You can scan the link, of course, double check it. Um, I won't read it all, but point one just says, if big company wants to buy the Metaverse perfume outright, the community is notified to hear objections as best possible. Profits from the purchase get split 51-49. Point four says if national body declares an ingredient unsafe or illegal prior to the design of the perfume, the ingredient is used and the national body wants to know who to charge for putting an illegal ingredient in the perfume, Rook have 100% duty rights, so are solely responsible for the perfume and will incur any consequences. Um, we didn't run this past any legal teams. <laughs> so this is what we wrote from our knowledge. Um, it's a small project and yeah, I don't think there's a need to get anyone bigger than ourselves in. And it's an experiment. We're happy to give it a go. Um, if you're looking to do this yourself, there's tons of rights you can sell. Like if you make a product but you want to share it with your community, there's, that's a handful of rights that I worked off the top of my head. Um, and you can even invent your own. Anything goes as long as you make it clear to your community fair. So quick conclusion, DAOs do work. It's easy, you can do one. Just be need to be realistic about what you're selling. Include rights, that's my top tip, and have faith you'll win. My name's Jamie Anson. You can catch me on the socials. I also run Ethereum London, as you know. Um, scan the QR code if you want to learn about any of those events that we're supporting in the coming, well, this month. They're all happening this month. Thank you very much. Thank you.